friends, my name is Catherine Flowers, the Executive Director of Bread of Life Inc. in Houston, Texas. And we are so excited and so blessed that today, we, this week really, we have an opportunity to host the Pipe Mission Trip uh, here in Houston. We, to date, we have served over 38,000 people here at our distribution center. Hopefully you get a chance as she pans the room, uh, the work that we get to do. Uh, the storm actually affected hundreds of thousands of people. The, we lost over a million cars. We had three trillion tons, gallons of water. This was a real thing. And so people who were suffering from the, the hurricane of poverty certainly have been affected threefold by Hurricane Harvey. And so the opportunity to just to give back and make sure that we can meet people where they are and meet some of their unmet needs has been a tremendous blessing. Well, I'm giving you guys instructions. So ideally, we provide, those people are waiting in line for these bags. These bags have a value of about $400. And so they are filled with all of the essential items that you need if you're staying in a hotel or you're staying at your mama's house and y'all just don't have enough food to eat. So inside of each bag, you're gonna put 12 food items. So it's gonna be six cans and six other things, like bags of boxes, like we have pasta, we have macaroni, just a variety of things. So you're gonna put 12 food items. Then in addition to that, they get everybody get two peanut butters, because we have tons of peanut butter. So everybody gets two jars of peanut butter. And then some of you are gonna be working on the snack station. So all you're gonna do is make big giant, well, make bags of snacks. We use these grocery bags and we fill them up with snacks. Ivy, how was your experience at the food bank? Uh, you know, it was really good. Um, we started at the Houston Food Bank yesterday and it was really surprising because you saw how many people were still in need and you saw how much food was being delivered and it wasn't just food, it was like diapers and cleaning supplies and anything that you could think of. And it was just really nice to have a part in helping them and helping create uh, meals that were going to schools and churches and all types of different places. Like they had 600 agencies that they worked with, so I thought that was really cool. And it's a really good way to just start our Houston trip. Hey, how you doing My name is Brandon Deason, and I work for the Bread of Life with Houston, Texas, and St. John Church. And we want to just appreciate and give our great appreciation to the Hype Ministry for coming all the way from California. Go put us package bags and give them back to the youth, the, the people who were affected by the hurricane, and just the needy all of them. Like, without them, this week, they they given us so many hands and so many, you know, extra boost of energy just to keep going and just to do it all. Like, they, they've helped from every aspect, from taking our trash, making bags, bagging rice, you know, sweeping the floor, cutting boxes. We just want y'all to know we really appreciate y'all. If there's any way we can return the favor and come back out to Cali and help y'all, you know, we know y'all had y'all issues with the fire and all that. We just want to extend the, the welcome that we extend to y'all. Just say thank you. We really appreciate it. At Bread of Life, we were helping um, put together packages for the families that were hit by Hurricane Harvey. And what was good, we got to see the line of people from uh, the storage facility, so we could really see the impact that we were having on each member of the community that needed that help. The bags consisted of canned goods, snacks, over-the-counter medicine, cereal, household and cleaning supplies, and a farm request, diapers, and baby. Today I was helping bring diapers for the mothers that need them and bring the bags to the people, the victims, and it was really gratifying to see how happy they were and grateful they were for the things that we were giving them. It was just really a gratifying experience overall and I really enjoyed helping them, and, you know, just seeing the good things, positive things that we were doing and how it was affecting the community. And I also sorted out the clothes over there for the clothes drive that's going to be coming up. And that was also pretty fun. Cool. I enjoyed it. Every morning this week, we have morning devotion where we had the theme of stepping up. We focused on the book of Joshua in which he stepped up after Moses. 
This relates to us because we are stepping up for the hardy victims that were affected by the storm. Today we went to a service at Lakewood Church where Pastor John Gray spoke on our speed of purpose. Uh, in this sermon, he spoke on how in 2018 we need to move forward and leave some people behind that aren't helping us move forward. And I really enjoyed it because he really connected with us and um, he's really cool and he's funny. And it was overall a really cool experience because it was a different type of worship service. And the church was really big and there was a lot going on. So it was really fun. What's going on, family? I'm so sorry I didn't get a chance to meet you guys in person, but thank you for coming to Houston to help with those who have been affected by Hurricane Harvey. But I also want to say thank you for coming to service tonight. My prayer is that you will receive this word, move at the speed of purpose, make sure you've got uh, the tribe that has your vibe, the crew that knows what you've gone through, and the team that will identify with your dream. I love you guys with the love of the Lord. Keep serving God while you're young and make a commitment to serve him no matter what comes your way. I love you, God bless you. Sometimes you forget that I'm 35 now. So to see an 11 year old come hug me because I gave him a gallon of water, it's just, it's just like, you know, it's just like you, Give me chills, man, because you never know until you're in that situation. But it's so important, the collaboration and the love that we get to share because of people who come in, like this missions group. Uh, we actually have clocked over 18,000 volunteer hours between all of the people who have come to Houston. Uh, we have had so many incredible stories and new friendships because of this and i believe that there is always a blessing in the storm and so we are, again are just so excited to be a part of that blessing and that god would use us as a conduit to help meet the needs and so thank you to everybody who contributes whether that's you sharing this on facebook whether you give us a dollar or whether you volunteer a moment of your time we are so grateful to everyone who's participated in this process and uh, we can't thank you enough. And so I want to thank everyone who's here today, especially from California. Uh, y'all brought all this cold weather here. Uh, <laughs> but uh, thank y'all so much for being a part of being the bread of life for the community.